everybody, what's up, what's up? Yours truly, Dave. You know the deal. You know the Dave. <laughs> it's little old me, yes. I'm back, I'm back. I just want to talk about a very so uh, serious topic. Yes, very serious topic. <laughs> really, eh? Uh, but anyway, uh, all seriousness, um, we're going to talk about a, a day on the calendar. Today is All Souls Day. Yes, uh, I kid you not. Today is All Souls Day. I don't know what that means. If you want to do your definition on your uh, All Souls Day, go look it up on the dictionary or go on Wikipedia. It'll tell you what the definition is of All Souls Day. Uh, today is All Souls Day. I'll put in a big title, big bold title. And uh, I just want to say to all you folks, this, today is November 2nd. It's All Souls Day. Uh, go look it up, folks. This is no joke. Uh, all Souls Day today, all day today, and uh, today is the day that we're going to have All Souls Day. We pray for these people, we make sure that everything is A-OK, -okay. we pray for them, we give them best, uh, we tell them best judgment, we give them recommendations, and we give them uh, choices, we give them choices uh, in life. Uh, so recommendations and choices in life, there's choices. Uh, that's what, that's what I, I, I always gear to for the people. You have choices and you have a whole bunch of things in life. Um, you gotta give people choices. I don't mean that. I, I believe in this theory. Uh, you gotta give people choices, okay? Options and choices. Um, and recommendations. Recommendations is you just give them recommend what's the best thing, what's not so great. Um, and choices is what you what choices you want to make in your life. That's the choice you want to make. That's the choice you want to make in life. And the next uh, order of uh, order of, uh, of, uh, of things, I just want to put out there a good observation to you people. Make make the best of what you do in your life. Okay, make the best that you can to provide everything in life. Everything in life. Uh, the other day I saw a bit of, uh, bit of news that, uh, some boater, there was a boat in an accident the other day. This was in the United States. Some, uh, kids were out boating and an incident happened. Uh, so strangely enough. Uh, so this is around the Halloween. A boating accident. Yes, folks. A boating accident. Uh, this was coming from the state side. Uh, I heard it on some, uh, news or, uh, newscast. I forget where it was, but it was somewhere in the States. And they had a boat at it accident, and uh, let me iterate this. People, be very careful. The person who uh, who owns a uh, boat should be, uh, as I said the other day, is responsible for the people on the boat. It's your responsibility as a boat owner to have everybody responsibility on the boat, okay? That's your responsibility. you got to take... Uh, you gotta take the ownership of your boat. No matter how many people are on the boat, you, you gotta look after your people that's on the boat. It doesn't mean that they gotta look after themselves. They, you gotta look after these people because you're. Uh, it's just the old saying goes: you're responsible for the people on the boat, no matter what situation they're in. Okay? Is if you own the boat, you gotta be responsible for the people on the boat. It's simple as that, folks. Uh, and I can't. I can't stress this uh, stress enough. Uh, all you boaters out there, that goes for all you boaters out there, no matter who's at, uh, who's at the helm of the boat. Your responsibility is making sure everybody's A-OK -okay in that boat. And uh, that's your responsibility. And, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if you put a light boat, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, these things that you put up when you get on the boats. Uh, it's not to do with that. You're responsible for every person that's on the, your boat, on your boat. That you, uh, so just remember, you're responsible for every person that's on that boat, as, as you as well. So just remember, the owner who owns the boat, uh, there was a press conference the other day of, uh, they had a, a thing with a, a, what's it called these things, uh, these uh, buoys, or, I guess they call them buoys, anyway, uh, markers, anyway, uh, they, uh, a boat owner in somewhere in the States hit one of these markers, and it, I think it capsized or... Uh, something like that. So it was a boat accident. Let's just get, let's get to the nitty gritty. It was a boat accident, and there was a press conference the other day. Uh, it was like a 13 minute press conference, and uh, they're going with uh, they're going with investigations. They're going with uh, clues of who did what, you know, kind of thing. And 
boat owners, uh, I don't know why they went out boating with the middle of wi almost close to mid middle of winter, but these people had the foresight to do it. Uh, but just remember, you're responsible for everybody on the boat. I kid you not, folks. You know, uh, is a boat, boat owner, this is recommendation here, folks. Remember, recommendation. Your responsibility of the people who is on the boat, not off the boat. When it comes to when you're being off the boat, you're not responsible for them. But when you're on the boat, you're responsible for the people that are on the boat, including yourself. So, uh, I want to iterate that, and uh, this is no rant, folks. I'm going to say it like a politician. Be very careful when you're on boats, okay? I see too many people get injured by boats, be, uh, be on boats, and stuff like that. I just want to make, I, I'm going to sound, I'm going to sound really good for you guys out there. Just, I, my recommendation, my choices, my lifestyle, my, your, your responsibility, right? Uh, I like to sound really good. I like to sound really excellent about what I say. I really take it to heart. You know what they say? Really take it to heart. And folks, folks, you're listening to uh, Doug Ford in the background. Uh, Premier Doug Ford, and I want to uh, give a kudos to these people. Uh, we're in a pandemic, so-called pandemic. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, we're still going to keep going what we need to do. Uh, keep the narrative. The world got to keep the narrative. we got to figure out what the uh, uh, Justin Trudeau say to the uh, to uh, uh, you know Doug Ford. Justin Trudeau, he's sort of okay at the moment. Uh, there's people in the government who are trying to question Justin Trudeau at the moment uh, about where, where this government's going or where it's leading. Uh, he has his conservative party uh, leaders on the other side of the bench are kind of questioning uh, don't, I mean, uh, Justin Trudeau about where this is going. There's a lot of questions to this whole thing. It's not just uh, the conservative people are questioning Justin Trudeau. It's the where this government is going. That's, I think you... If you were, if this was, if this was a uh, press conference, I think we all need to know where Justin Trudeau's at. And not just the people who are just saying this. We need to know everybody where, where Justin Trudeau's at, because it's always coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. We need to know where government is going beyond here. I mean, uh, there's no, there's no, as they say, no vaccines, there's no, uh, what do you call it? There's no, um, uh, Testing, testing, as I keep saying, as Nancy Pelosi once said. Um, so, folks, um, I don't know, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, wear the mask, it's like six feet until there's a vaccine. Um, it's a bit confusing. It's just like the SARS thing in 2003. Uh, the way they did, they didn't shut down the economy, they didn't wear masks. It was kind of low-key. Uh, they thought uh, it was just it was just a SARS thing. It'll go away like uh, the pandemic we have this year. Uh, yeah. And uh, folks, folks, I'm gonna toot my own horn. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna every time that Justin Trudeau is doing his press conference, I kid you not, try to not laugh it for him. Uh, but every time that Justin Trudeau does a press conference, I'll I'll see I hear what he says. And if he wants to get this economy going, that's his problem. But until then, I think we're going the right direction. If I was Justin Trudeau, I think we're going the right direction. Uh, I can read him like a book. I think we're going the right direction. Remember, he's a, a liberal leader. He's a liberal leader. The certain people are kind of sounding the alarms of all this nonsense that's going on. Uh, uh, they're kind of like push the panic button, and they want to know where Justin Trudeau's at at this moment. Is that does it? It's not every person going out there doing press conference and saying where this government's going. It's everybody touted that. Uh, so we need to know where this government's going and where it's heading in the near future. Um, is it going to be a government in the near future? Is it going to be a liberal government? Is it going to be a conservative government? Or is it going to be a Green Party uh, uh, government? Or NDP? Uh, uh, so you get Justin, you get Justin Trudeau, you get uh, Premier Doug Ford, you get all cabinet leaders out there representing everything. Uh, and I just want to say to you guys, we're sounding in stereo, not mono sounding, in stereo. That means right and left speakers. Uh, and uh, um, I'm feeling great. I hope you guys are feeling great. I want to give you a shout out to everybody who's a YouTuber out there. Uh, you guys are doing great. Keep up the great work. I, I appreciate every time I see videos out there. I think people are doing the good deeds out there. Really, really hammering down 
uh, everything, um, to your First Amendment audit, auditors, to uh, a film with the police. Now, my observation about film with the police, this is people who do this for the living. Not everybody can do this. Uh, always hold the police accountable. I kid you not. Always hold the police accountable. All you need is a vlog camera to vlog out and hold the police accountable. I kid you not. The United States is doing it. Not everybody can do it. Just remember that. Not everybody can do this. This all you need is a vlog camera. Any camera will do. Go out there, vlog a camera, and uh, you have to have street smarts. Remember that. Street smarts. Bear this in mind, everybody. You gotta have street smarts. Know your constitution. Know your first amendments. Know your, uh, uh, you know, all those things. You gotta have some street smarts, because if you don't, you're gonna act stupid out there. So, just remember, folks, I always have some street smarts. It's your constitution right to film. Remember that. Constitution right to film. Uh, no matter what these people say, it's your constitution. Remember that, folks. Because, uh, you know, film the police, uh, hold them accountable, as they would say. Yeah, and uh, really have some street smarts when you're doing it. First and foremost, I see these auditors out there really doing good. They're holding these police people accountable. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not saying it. These people on YouTube are saying it. So hold these police accountable and, uh, yeah, just do your job. And, uh, yeah, and not everybody can do it on YouTube, okay? There's a select few out there doing it. And uh, uh, the bravery that's out there is really good. To, you know, um... And uh, it's just a cycle. It's just a cycle that everybody gets into. You know, uh, for a while there, everybody was holding the police accountable. Now it's the citizens holding them accountable. Uh, so it's the transparency. It's that transparency you always hear sometimes. Uh, that transparency. Always do the transparency, okay? These are long words I would use. Uh, and uh, there you go, folks. I'll say goodbye for now. This is my vlog, uh, my podcast. It's in stereo, not a mono, uh, not mono sounding. This is stereo right and left, just like music nowadays. Uh, stereo. So, God, I'll see you guys until the next podcast. I'm feeling great, feeling great about everything in life. CP24, I'm watching the background. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.